In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the water pump in this Ford Escape. This is on the 2.0 liter EcoBoost engine, and this is going to be on the front side of the engine, more on the passenger side. Let's get into it. Underneath the vehicle, you may have a panel that you need to remove. This vehicle does not. And on the driver's side near the radiator, you can see where there's a drain. You can use a hose, just get over the side where the drain is right there. You want to have a drain bucket underneath and you can see where there is a wing nut right here. You can use some pliers just to get it to crack free. Just like that and then grab it with your hand. Just loosen it up. As you twist that, coolant's going to come out the hose. And you want to drain it into the bucket. If you want it to go a little faster, you can take the radiator cap off up top. Once the coolant's all drained out, we can close up the drain. Just twist it to the right. You don't want to tighten it too much. Just be careful using pliers. Snug it up, then take the hose down. Take the wiper arms off, just use a pick. We'll take this little cover off on the side. Just get underneath there, pop that cover off. Using a 15 millimeter socket, take this nut off. Grab the arm, you just wanna rock it back and forth. Get it to separate. Slide that off out of the way. Do the same on the other side. Now we're gonna take these clips off. Just use a pick, get underneath the clip. These ones over here have a, like an extra clip. Get underneath there, pop those out. And grab this cowl and just lift up. There you go. It's just clipped in underneath. Those clips just push down. Using a T25 socket, we're going to take these two screws out. And that's just going to sit right there. Using a eight millimeter socket, take these screws out. loose, then do the same on the other side. Now grab this panel and it pulls right out. And we're going to pull the engine cover off, just grab underneath, lift up. It comes right off. This hose right here on the reservoir, we're going to disconnect that. Just push on these tabs, slide that out. And pull that out of these clips just to get it out of the way. Just set that aside. Now grab the reservoir. I'm just going to slide up. It's just clipped in right there. Now we're going to take some hose clamp pliers. Move the hose clamp just down, twist this off, and just pull the hose off and set that aside. 
underneath the car. We're just going to use a block of wood and a floor jack. We want to support the engine. You want to go near the edge of the oil pan where there's a little more, where it's a little bit stronger, like in the corners. Just, just take a little bit of the tension off the engine mount, the front engine mount. I'll take these three nuts off, use an 18 millimeter socket. Oh, sometimes the studs come out as well, that's okay. Remove the bottom bolts for the engine mount. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Grab the engine mount and slide it out of the way. Before we take the belt off, we're gonna loosen up the water pump bolts for the pulley. Just use a 10 millimeter wrench. You can try loosening them up this way. Just cracking them free. Sometimes they're a little tight. If they are, you can use a pulley holder just to prevent the pulley from spinning. Crack them free. There we go. All three of those are loose. I'm going to take the belt off. Just use a 15 millimeter socket, just like you're loosening. Then you can take the belt off, then release the tension on the tensioner. Just slide the belt out of the way. You don't have to take it off completely. Now I'll use a ratchet wrench. Just take the bolts out, 10 millimeter ratchet wrench. Take the bolts out for the pulley. Grab the pulley, slide that off. Using a eight millimeter socket, we're gonna take these three bolts out. You might want a drain bucket underneath just in case some of the coolant comes out, even though you already drained the system. One right there. And then one more down below. Using a pry bar, just get behind the pump and just pry it out. Just using a hammer, just tap this loose a little bit. There we go. And some coolant's coming out. And it slides right out. Now I'm just going to use a wire brush and just clean this out a little bit. You can use a little emery cloth or even a little bit of finer grit sandpaper. You don't want to take any metal off, just take off some of the corrosion. That looks good. And then we'll just wipe it down with a rag. You can use a little brake parts cleaner. That looks good. Now take the O-ring. Install the O-ring. That's good. Take a little O-ring lubricant or some silicone. Silicone lubricant. All right, that's good. And slide the water pump in place. There 
we go. Get the bolts started. Might have to twist the water pump a little bit. Now we're gonna to torque these bolts to 89 inch pounds. And the bottom bolt's a little bit tricky. Do the best you can. Line the pulley up. Get the bolts started. Take the serpentine belt, make sure it goes around the crank, the crankshaft pulley, and comes up along the idler pulley, around the water pump, around the alternator. And then we're gonna take the tensioner, slide that back. It's around all the pulleys. Now it looks good. Now we can tighten those bolts down. And tighten these bolts down. And if the pulley is spinning, you can use that pulley holder to hold the pulley. Tighten those down. And if you can get a torque wrench in there, you can torque those to 177 inch pounds. It's a little tight, but that's good. Tighten those down. Right, take the engine mount, slide that in place, get the bolts started. And the nuts. may have to lower the jack slightly just so everything lines up or raise it up depending on how it looks and tighten these up Torque these nuts to 59 foot pounds. And torque the bolts to 66 foot pounds. Lower the floor jack, set that aside. Now I'll take the coolant reservoir, put the hose on, get that lined up. And just get that clamp in the right position. And push it down on the brackets. Take this hose. Push that in, and then push it in all the retainers on the sides. 
take the engine cover, line it up, push it back on. Take the shield, line it up. That's good. And take these bolts, get those started. And we can tighten those down. No, that's good. Do the same on this side. Snug that down. And then put these two screws in. Hold the reservoir up. Get that lined up. Tighten those down. Take this panel, slide it in place. That's good. Put these clips in. Put the wiper arms on. Make sure they're in the same place on the windshield when you took them off. Put the nuts on. Tighten those down. Then you'll put the cap on. Do the same on the other side. Snug those down. Put the cap on. At this point, you want to add the appropriate coolant, a 50-50 mix, up to the max line. Then you want to run the engine for about 15-20 minutes, making sure the engine's not overheating and double-checking the level. Shut the vehicle down. Once the vehicle is cool, double-check the level again and adjust accordingly. And tighten the cap down. When only the best will do, demand TRQ the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.